Do you have pests in your house plants? This guy right here has had mealybugs forever. I have definitely mealybugs and I have thrips. So I got it all. Winter time is actually the best time to treat your plants right before spring. Right now it's February, so spring's right around the corner. And like spring, we all love it, including your pests. So it's a good time to tackle them when they're still sort of dormant. This plant has been dealing with mealybugs for a long time. My whole plant collection got mealybugs very early on. It's just something that I've learned to live with. And as long as it's not killing my plants, we're, we're just, you know, rolling with it. So typically we use systemic and I created this murder spray. I didn't create it. It's a horticulture oil that I dilute and put into a spray bottle. Today, instead of doing that, is what I've found that when you spray your plant, it's just really hard to get into the nooks and crannies because the mealybugs really love to kind of be right where the node is. And in this particular plant, the nodes are really small. So they just like to be in like tight places. You know, they feel protected. So <laughs> in order to deal with that, I'm using some kind of bucket so that I can dip them into the solution. Hopefully that way we'll get a lot of it, you know, kill a lot of them because I've sprayed it in the past many times and obviously it keeps coming back, but um, hopefully this will get more of it. And the goal for today is also to thin out the plant and that's because with mealybugs, you want good air circulation. It's easier to obviously see them as well. It's really dense. So the plant's not, you know, breathing as well. I think the last time I treated this plant, um, a lot of the mealybugs like were like right behind. And so it's just harder to deal with. So you want to space out your plant, give it more air, and it's just healthier and happier for everyone. I will make the horticultural spray. I'm not gonna go over how I do it. Um, you guys can watch the video that I made. We'll link it above and let's get to work. So I gotta wait for my solution to cool down because I used hot water to dilute the horticultural oil. So I'm just gonna start thinning this out first. I usually like to cut between the nodes, like right in the middle. So if you have any issues with it calcing over or you know it gets an infection for whatever reason because you didn't sterilize your scissors, there is still a high likelihood that your cutting will survive. Point of this trimming is really to get some more airflow into the plant. I can tell you, once you get your Hoyas going, they become very happy and then you can just share it with your friends. Sometimes I'll just put some of my plants out on the sidewalk of our building and have people just take them. I really don't want any overlapping foliage as much as possible. That's where the mealybugs like to hide, you know? Nice and cozy for them. We wanna like, basically, create a habitat that is less preferable by the mealybugs. I could definitely go heavier, but I'm trying to like think about, you know, how it's shading the pot. No one wants to see the pot. I do love how long it is. I would say this Hoya, the foliage is not as you know, thick as some of the other Hoyas that I like. I like really chunky, thick, waxy foliage. This is not one of them, but the flowers make up for it. If you wanna wear gloves because of the latex, by all means do. I'm just gonna wash my hands afterwards. I think you can get like some kind of skin irritation from it. Some people are more sensitive than others. When you're making your cuts, you should also think about where you want the plant to regrow. So I'm cutting it further back because before I was kind of cutting it at the lip of the pot. I kind of want it to start a little bit deeper in so it's better supported. I don't find this Hoya to be particularly like wanting to climb. So that's why you only see a couple of these where they're like really twisted together. So this is definitely one of the, bleh, one of the Hoyas that will do well as a hanging plant. Some Hoyas really want to climb and they're gonna do what they want to. I think I'm pretty happy with how I, this haircut came out. <laughs> There's a mealybug right there. Great. So it's, you know, it's lighter. I think we cut about almost 50% of it off, honestly. It has a lot of growth. So for the cuttings that I took, those will be a lot easier to deal with. But for the ones that are 
on the plant, not as easy. So my goal is to dunk it into this bucket. I have a towel on the floor. Wear gloves when you do this. The horticultural oil is toxic, particularly that one that I got. If you wanna use something more organic, you can actually just use some kind of oil. I think I mentioned before that you can use baby oil. I'm just trying to get rid of this bottle that I have. So just trying to, it's kind of like washing your hair. Should I get it in there? You can obviously spray, but I just find spraying it, you're just not doing as good of a job. And obviously if you can do it somewhere else, like in the bathroom or outside, that'd be best. Cause this is making a bit of a mess. I'm looking at my shower, my shower curtains, <laughs> my window curtains and like I'm getting horticultural oil on it. All right, I'm gonna continue doing this, but here's, that's the idea. And with the cuttings, I'm just going to dunk them in. The way the horticultural oil works is that you're coating the mealybugs with a coat of oil is basically what you're achieving. And that will suffocate them. If you want a more in-depth explanation of how to kill mealybugs, you can check out the mealybug video that I did a while ago. I did a lot more research back then. And now that I know how to kill them, I have forgotten all the science behind it. <laughs> so if you wanna hear more about that, check out the Muley Bug video. I did add a bunch of systemics in this. It still seems to be coming back, so I think I'm gonna add some more. Spider mites, all the pests, they just love, 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 love the spring, just like how we love the spring. And then the rest of it that I didn't dunk, I will just have to spray that and I'm gonna add systemic. Wash your gloves immediately because I have found that it, it, the horticultural oil does melt <laughs> the plastic. My little systemic dedicated spoon. How much do you add? You f try to follow directions, but Christina's horrible at that. I just put as, every time I see some, I put some in until I don't see them anymore. They don't really break it down for you like, you know, per pot size, but even then that's difficult. I just add sometimes a lot if I'm like super angry. <laughs> Today I'm less angry, so I'll just add a little. One scoop, this is one tablespoon, so you wanna water it in. But I watered this plant yesterday, so I'm not gonna do that today. I'll just leave it, you know, I'll get it next time. So I'm pretty happy with the haircut. I think it's gonna be happier. There's gonna be more airflow and it obviously will, you know, grow back. I'm trying not to touch this plant as much as possible and just let it dry on its own. You will notice when it dries, sometimes it'll leave like a white dusty coat. Um, you can rub it off, but I mean, there's so many leaves. <laughs> Have fun <laughs> if that's what you wanna do. I usually just leave it. I don't find it hindering the growth of the plant at all. Um, yeah, hopefully this will give it, you know, a good, a better saturation of the horticultural oil and try to get, like, get rid of as much as the mealybug as possible. I'm going to spray down the top as well because I couldn't dunk the top. And then we just added some systemic, so that should help. The key with pests in general is just to monitor and keep on top of it whenever you see it so that you can control it to one plant and not have it keep spreading to one plant after another because then you're just, you know, chasing after the mealybugs. And it's not fun. It makes the hobby just not fun. <laughs> just work. I hope this video helped you and that you are able to control your pests. And yeah, we can do this together, guys. I will see you next time. Happy growing.